what is your uh, vision for the today's and to tomorrow's academic libraries? See, particularly this conference uh, has been organized to find out a vision for academic libraries by the period 2030. What should be the vision, what kind of libraries should be there in, uh, to cater to the information requirement of uh, uh, teachers, students and researchers by 2030. So this conference is for that only. See, why we need this, this is because uh, there is a change uh, in technology, change in the format of information. So to bridge the gap between what we have and what we should have, uh, this conference is there. We have uh, received uh, more than 200 research papers from India, across India and abroad. And I feel there will be deliberations uh, uh, by the experts, by the researchers, and uh, we will come out uh, with a roadmap. Uh, for the future of academic library. So I think uh, uh, prediction is not good. Uh, the experts' opinion should be honored. Sir, what are the indicators, according to you, what are the indicators uh, we can implement on the academic libraries? See the, especially in the college libraries. See, the best indicator for any, any kind of library, academic, public or any library, is the user satisfaction. satisfaction. So if your user is satisfied with your services, print service, online service, any service, so if your users are satisfied, you are successful. If your users are not satisfied, you are not successful. Sir, as we all know, according to, according to the students, like especially in the undergraduate students, they are focusing on the Google, uh, Google bubble like this. So according to you, what, is, what are the significant and how we can inculcate the students with, uh, and we can connect the students with the academic lives, especially in the college libraries? See, uh, this, is, this is the threat to the education. Uh, Google, I mean, use of Google by the students is a threat to education. And uh, we have a very important role. Uh, as a librarian, we have a very important role. Uh, we, need, we need to inform the students or we need to rather educate the students that what is available and what is the quality and authenticity and, and uh, validity of information which is accessible mostly through Google, right? So, uh, see, they have developed a kind of uh, 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 online reading habit. Uh, particularly during uh, COVID period. So they will rely more on online content and uh, to fetch their information requirement we need to have more online content in libraries accessible through libraries. So we need to strengthen our collection. We need to educate the users that whatever you are getting from free sources through Google or for a, uh, uh, from any other uh, search engine that should be evaluated. I'm not saying that everything is bad but I am also saying that everything is not reliable, everything is not authentic. So we need to uh, 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 conduct programs like information literacy. Uh, sir, as you all know, that today we have talked about the Mantri, Shri Narendra Modi Ji, who has the national education policy. Ki baat ki hai. Basically, because our base is the school libraries. तो और ये हम सब जानते हैं कि स्कूल लाइब्रेरीज में पहले इतना फोकस जो पुस्तकालय हुआ करते थे विद्यालय में उसमें इतना फोकस नहीं किया जाता था स्टूडेंट्स को रीडिंग हैबिट के लिए लेकिन जो हमारी नया जो हमारी न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी है उसको हम कहें नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी जिसमें उन्होंने दो जो कंपोनेंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जिसमें उन्होंने कलेक्शन डेवलपमेंट की बात की है और जॉयस रीडिंग की बात की है तो सर उस पे आप थोड़ा सा अपने सी द बेसिक पर्पस ऑफ स्कूल लाइब्रेरीज टू इनकल्केट रीडिंग हैबिट that is the basic purpose, basic objective of a school library. School students, they are not doing research, they are not doing higher studies. So the basic purpose is to inculcate reading habit. So joyous books, pictorial books, uh, novelettes, story books, they help students to read longer. So they, they can read longer what they like, right? So it is 100% uh, as per the objective of libraries. So that should be there. We should develop in school libraries, we should develop a uh, uh, similar collection. You know, today we are facing a threat of plagiarism. You know why? Because uh, uh, there is no awareness about plagiarism from the school level. So schools are very important. Even for research, schools are very important. For teaching, learning and research, the complete uh, uh, information, I mean, this complete ecosystem, the school and school libraries are very important. We need to focus on this. So can we say that the jo, uh, uh, easy availability of the online resources is like a, uh, uh, it pro, uh, inculcate the uh, textual recycling or it shows a plagiarism. So how no, can we no, see, uh, work with this problem? No, no. Everything which comes up has merits and demerits. 
So uh, uh, it depends on uh, the population, it depends on people, how they approach to that something which has come up, right? You cannot manage everything what is being published today in print. So there has to be an alternative. So online content or e-content is an, uh, an, an viable alternative to whatever number of information is being published, right? So we should use it uh, the way we were using the print sources. Cut, copy, paste is uh, not a uh, learning. So, what's your message for the basic, especially for the school libraries? Uh, they are very important. School libraries are very important because uh, they inculcate the habit of reading the books and they also uh, uh, inculcate uh, using the uh, uh, the library behavior among the students. So, they are very important. So, uh, according to you, what is the significance of this type of? Uh, international conferences in this allies fields and what would be the frequency of this type of programs you know uh, uh, see, see uh, although i wanted to tell this uh, uh, during uh, the inaugural function but i think this is uh, a time to tell you when i was a student of library and information science i was taught as a student i was taught that libraries are heart and soul of academic institution right with my 28 years of experience and uh, after visiting so many libraries in our country and abroad, I could develop a perspective that uh, libraries are uh, institutional responsibility. And I'm very happy to tell you that today uh, uh, with the present Vice Chancellor, under his leadership, uh, now I can assert that uh, libraries at University of Delhi is an institutional priority. So the libraries are so important.